Putin News Today. The assassination attempt on Putin may mark a decisive moment in the conflict. On Wednesday, Russia claimed that Ukraine had attempted to assassinate Russian President Vladimir Putin by flying a drone into the Kremlin. Some believe that Putin could use the alleged attack to further escalate the conflict in Ukraine, even if Kyiv was not responsible for it. Videos of a mysterious explosion that released a cloud of smoke over the Kremlin began making the rounds on social media. Russia's government issued a statement claiming its military had destroyed two attacking drones in response to what it called a planned terrorist attack and an assassination attempt targeting the president. President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine quickly denied responsibility, telling reporters that his troops were too busy defending our villages and cities. We don't even have enough weapons for this, he added. Some have even speculated that Russia staged the drone attacks to make it look like Ukraine was responsible. Whatever the case may be, some worry that Putin will use the strike as an excuse to send more Russian troops into Ukraine. Mark N. Katz, dean of George Mason University's Shar School of Policy, told Newsweek that it was unclear where the drones came from. Katz elaborated, saying it was unlikely that even armed protesters could identify Putin's exact location within the Kremlin. According to Russian state media, Putin was at his Novo Ogaryovo home outside of Moscow working at the time of the incident. State-run Russian media had already reported last week on other drones found near Moscow, including one allegedly loaded with explosives, before Wednesday's alleged drone strike. Retired U.S. Army Major John Spencer told Newsweek last week that he agreed with the reports from the previous week and that it would be a great disadvantage for Ukrainians to strike Moscow and sway the Russian population to be for the war in Ukraine. Spencer, who chairs urban warfare studies at the Madison Policy Forum, speculated that Russians opposed to the conflict in Ukraine may have sent the drones discovered near Moscow. Former Russian lawmaker Ilya Ponomarev told CNN that Russian partisans were responsible for the drones shot down over the Kremlin. The managing editor of the Special Operations Forces report, SOFREP, Guy McArdle, was among those who said the drone reports from the previous week sounded like typical Russian propaganda designed to bolster support for the war. The reports from Wednesday were met with the same criticism. Former Russian Prime Minister and current Putin critic Mikhail Kasyanov told Britain's Channel 4 News that allegations of drone assassinations were also propaganda meant to strengthen the regime. Whatever happened on Wednesday at the Kremlin, it may be used by the Kremlin to justify our retaliatory Russian strike on Ukrainian leadership targets, as Katz put it. The Kremlin has dropped hints about this. The Russian government said in a statement on Wednesday that Russia reserves the right to take countermeasures wherever and whenever it deems appropriate. The highest levels of Russian government have already threatened retaliation. Russian parliamentary head Vyacheslav Volodin made the following telegram statement. We will demand the use of weapons capable of stopping and destroying the Kyiv terrorist regime. Dmitry Medvedev, the ex-president and current deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, called for action shortly after Volodin did so in a telegram post. After today's terrorist attack, Medvedev wrote, there is nothing left to do but physically eliminate Zelensky and his clique. Was Ukraine responsible for the attack? Cornell University's David Silby, who is also the university's director of teaching and learning in Washington and an associate professor of history, told Newsweek that he does not rule out the possibility that Ukraine attempted to assassinate Putin using drones. It is common practice in war to use decapitation attacks. The United States initiated the Gulf War in 2003 in an effort to remove Saddam Hussein from power. Silby claims that numerous attempts have been made on Zelensky's life throughout the conflict. He elaborated, saying that Wednesday's attack may have been a genuine attempt by the Ukrainians to take out Putin and hopefully have him replaced by someone who isn't as committed as they are to the Russian war effort.